Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Change Starts With Us, Ohio. As we know, the last uh, month or two, it's been very difficult in our nation and in our state of Ohio, especially in New York with all the deaths from the coronavirus or COVID-19. I'm not sure what, which is the proper way. Um, we just heard today there was three federal inmates in Ohio that died. Um, the um, uh, uh, National Guards is getting involved to help people. Um, this is a very deadly illness, and I wish people would take it serious and stay home instead of going out. <clears throat> Today we got a report about a young man that made a mask to cover his face at one of the institutions, <clears throat> and the CO made him take it off and said, you're not going to wear one. You will never catch it in here. Um, some of the other camps, they passed it out. Just because a closed facility, they still need one. A max security still needs one. There's no excuses for inmates to catch this virus when they've been locked up a year, two years, 30 years. There's no reason why they should catch it. I think all staff of the ODFC should get tested. <clears throat> and then bring them back as they get tested. Um, I know some have been tested. That includes the high-ranking officers, too, all the way from the top to the bottom, from the bottom all the way up. We need to um, get these folks tested. Um, look look in New York how tragic, tragic it is with all the deaths in New York. We got a, um, we saw a letter uh, the other day from a um, nurse in one of the prisons. I think it was, I don't know if it was Louisiana, but I think it might have been. But she was ordering toe tags and uh, boxes for the bodies of inmates. That's how many people they expect to die. <coughs> the thing is, if you're fair, fairly healthy, you should be able to, you, you have a good chance to fight this off. The elderly, the people with uh, uh, poor health conditions, and the real young are the ones that are more receptible of, of uh, something serious side of it or, or possibly death. So we need to keep track of people. And in the prison system, the inmates or residents, like I like to say, need to look out for each other check on each other um, if they're sick help them out because medical is not doing what they're supposed to um, you, we all saw that video well a lot of us saw that video from another um, state of an inmate that was in um, his cell dying of COVID-19 and they would not take him to medical. They called for the officer. It was kind of all falling on deaf ears. And this week should, you know, the hoping will be the peak, then we'll be on our way back down. But how many people are going to die this week? How many people are going to listen to the warning signs? I think our president's explained it. Um, I think our governor has, knowing. I don't agree with everything on the governor, what he said. Um, I think they need to do a better job protecting those behind bars and start releasing those that have all this time in um, that should have been paroled years ago. And then those um, that have health problems, they need to release them. Um, don't wait. Don't wait till you have a bunch of deaths in there. So, Governor. Uh, DeWine, we're asking you to start to release people. Uh, this is not about James Cronenberger. It is about those people who are behind bars, those that should have been home, those who are wrongfully convicted. Governor, do the right thing. Thank you very much.